Good morning, my awesome friends and followers of this outstanding channel and to the members. Thank you all very much for your continued support as we move in the direction of transparency. Anyway, uh, thank you. Uh, I appreciate your support. This morning, it was brilliant to wake up to find out that I finally got over that hurdle where I was stuck. Remember, we were stuck on this channel for at 155,000 for about eight months. Well, we finally got over that hurdle. We're heading towards 160,000 and it's amazing. The problem you have with getting people to subscribe is once you mention the word subscribe, people think it's a paid platform and it's not. It's not unless you want to be a member and support the YouTuber. But thank you, we are there. And I have even better news. First in the Sangin, thanks to you. First in the Sangin, which I wrote, I published in 2015, has just broken back into Amazon's top 100 bestsellers. It's at number 98. Thank you. On the lead up, on the lead up, on the run up to Christmas, that is amazing. So thank you. Um, it'll probably slip back out. But if you haven't got a copy, you can get it on one of those Black Friday deal things anyway. So, and please keep leaving reviews because reviews are what makes people want to buy the book. Whether it's a shit review or a good review, at least it's a review. So thank you for that. And thank you to this. If it wasn't for this community buying these books, um, no one would have heard of them. So thank you to you. YouTube does produce some good things. This plant needs watered. It's hitting my leg at the minute. Yeah, but... Uh, what a wonderful time. Uh, all that nonsense for the last two years and all of a sudden we get over that hurdle and there's no stopping us now. We're running towards targets. Sound like a soldier on a battlefield. Do you know what I mean? We're running towards, and we're knocking them down with their bayonet. Ah, kill, kill. And we're going forward. Anyway, um, the petition, I keep trying to push people. The petition, the general election petition, I'm going to pin it again to the comment section of this video. It's creeping towards 2.9 million. We needed to get to 3 million. I would love it to get to 3 million because we are sending a message together. This is no longer about political parties. This is about looking after farmers, students, pensioners, our armed forces and members of the public. So we're all in this together. So I don't understand why it sort of, it went and now it's sort of, paused a little bit. Come on, keep doing it. Keep sharing it. Keep getting people to do it. Get it all over Facebook. If you're on Facebook, I'm not. Get it all over things. It's being backed by Elon Musk. It's being backed by Sir Michael Caine. It's being backed by big people. It should be massive, but it's not, unfortunately. Anyway, let's move on. What else is happening? Oh, did you know this? Oh, the Labour, the Labour Party. I mean, how do we expect our government to check people coming into our country when they aren't even checking their own members of parliament? The transport secretary apparently, it's not apparently, it's a fact, is a convicted fraudster. She lied to police. She's admitted it. Yes, I did. I'm, I, I suppose I should have declared this when I stood as member of parliament. Maybe you should have, yeah? Wow, it's turning out to be the Labour Party's just a party filled with criminals, isn't it? Uh, she'll be gone by the end of the day. Mark my words. Yep, the Transport Secretary. Convicted fraudster. <laughs> it doesn't... I think that being MP, you, you should leave with it. Yep, uh, yep, convicted fraudster. The, it's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, wonder what her expenses would have been in the short time that she was the uh, Transport Secretary. It's ridiculous, isn't it? What else is happening? Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if this is in most papers, but Richard Eden, I know Richard Eden follows me on Instagram and I follow him and we have interacted, but I'm a little bit stunned at this. Richard Eden uh, writes a lot about the Royals. He's, he's good at what he does, by the way. He's very good at what he does. There's no denying that. But the Daily Mail now are putting a charge. If you want to read Richard Eden's story on Harry and Meghan in the media, in the Daily Mail, you've got to subscribe. You've got to pay to read. Now, you can read stories about MPs and celebrities, but if you want to read what Richard Eden's writing in the Daily Mail, you have to subscribe to the Daily Mail. Richard, I love your work. I know you're good at what you do, but 
it's a bit of a piss take to get people to have to subscribe to the paper you write for in order to read your stories. I mean, it's actually pretty shit, Richard, if I'm honest. But there we go. Oh, well. We're used to that type of stuff, aren't we? And by the way, I found out this morning that the... Do you know the I-360 in Brighton? If you've ever been to Brighton, it's a, it, there's like a massive needle and it's a circle and it sits at the bottom and you pay money to go into it and you go up and you have a look. It's a bit like, I suppose, the Blackpool Eye in a way. But it doesn't go that way. It goes the other way. Anyway, I was on that several years ago with my wife and son. And I think together, because we paid on the day, I think we paid about £50 to go up on that to have a look around Blackpool. Well, apparently, it's now went bust. It owes £50 million to the taxpayer. How can it go bust? I don't understand how these things can go bust. I mean, I did the figures today. It works out it's bringing in 268,000 people go on that a year. A quarter of a million people go on that a year. It would be a lot higher if Blackpool wasn't such a shithole. I mean, when I went there with uh, my wife and son several years ago, walking along the beach was filled with cum stained jurexes and it was disgusting. And maybe if it was to get its maybe if it was to get its reputation away for being the shithole and the woke society, I think visitors would increase. Clean your beaches, clean it up. The place is a shithole. I can see why people go once and then don't go back. If it was spotless, I probably would have returned and went back a few times because the clubs and the nightlife are fantastic. The, some of the restaurants are fantastic, but your beach and area is it's it's a shithole, unfortunately. So I can see why. Maybe clean your town. You might get more visitors. It's just my opinion. I'm sure someone from Brighton in here comments will go, we're very clean. Well, you're not. I've seen it with my own eyes. Durax is lying over the beach. It's disgusting. Um, that's what happens. That's what happens when you sort of uh, bring in the rainbow uh, to uh, support. And then you get known as that. Yeah. Uh... So while our pensioners in the UK are, are struggling, are struggling to pay their heating bills over winter, which is bloody freezing, I'm going to touch bloody freezing, um, our asylum seeker bill soars to £15 million a day. Yes, it's costing us £15 million a day to look after people that add no value. At the same time, Keir Starmer wants to get people that aren't well on, on benefits back into work to pay for them. Now, this petition, which I'm going to put in the link, I'm going to put the link in the comments pinned. This petition, which is part of this, pensioners, uh, the government has decided that they will look at the petition on the 6th of January, just in time to have thousands of people die over winter. It's a disgrace. Why would you look at the petition in January when the pensioners need help in December? You criminal bastards. It's just disgusting. Disgusting behaviour. Why not give the pensioners back their winter fuel allowance over the, over the coldest part of the year and then decide in January the 6th if maybe you want to keep it going or cancel it. This way you may save lives during the winter period, Keir Starmer. Fucking worst government ever, swear to God. Wow. Remember the last Labour Prime Minister? Remember him? Tony Blair, he let the IRA out of jails and let let veterans get prosecuted. Yeah. Well done, Labour. Labour. Shocking. And by the way, I'll, I'll mention this as well. While the BBC are preaching to us about CO2 and greenhouse gases, their stars are raking up millions of air miles travelling the world to promote nonsense. Hypocritical BBC. Hypocrites. Can't believe people still pay a license for that. I don't can't believe people still pay a TV license for that. Shocking, isn't it? Hmm. It is what it is. Uh. And the Princess of Wales. Princess of Wales, Catherine. She's not Catherine the Great. I think she's Cap. Let's call her Catherine the Greatest. I mean, she's out at the minute putting out positive messages, trying to trying to put the message out to people that suffer from 
um, addictions. You know, if you're suffering from addictions, you know, you need an act of kindness is what you need to do to move forward. One act of kindness a day can change someone's life. And it can. An act of kindness can lift someone's spirits up when they're feeling like shit. That's why I always say, chat to people. Have a good day. Block people. Whether they are your family or your friends from school. And if they just constantly add shit to your life, why take it? Block the link. Block the link. Block their number on your phone. Block them on Facebook. Block them on Messenger. Block them on X. And just, just get rid of them. You don't need them. Why are you adding on? Our lives are short enough without taking on other people's shit. Just get rid of them. Move forward. Be positive. It's hard to be positive and move forward towards goals when you're constantly getting negativity in the background. Like little, like little birds chirping. Just, just, just delete them. Just delete them. Move forward. Uh, Trevor, um, you haven't spoke to me in months. You, that, that, that's correct. But, but you haven't spoke to me in months. Why should I talk? You know I mean, when I was going through the shittiest time. Now, this is not. I'm just being flippant. When you're going through the shittiest time in your life and your phone's not ringing. And then you start posting things online where your life's changed and you're going positive. And then your phone rings. They are not on your team. They are not supporters. They are people that hang on your coattails. You don't need them. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, thanks to um, thanks to everyone who's left comments and reviews on Amazon. I do appreciate it. Um, as I said, the book's just broke in the top 100. It's number 98. So thank you for that. I'm hoping on the lead up to Christmas, it increases and we get it in the top 50, which would be unbelievable. Uh, its highest ranking has been number four um, when it first came out. So I think you can help me go there. And I have plans. I haven't completely nailed down my Christmas YouTube live stream, but I'm going to try and fix it today and then i will be able to advertise it and let you know other than that thank you to all the new subscribers i think in the last 28 days in the last 28 days two and a half thousand new subscribers so thank you very much i hope you enjoy the content and if you're not a member i was going to say why not it's free but it's not i think it's about 199 but thank you anyway have a wonderful day people and remember stay safe